Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before and welcome to part two of my Caribbean vlog. So I'm on a cruise, let me turn around, there we go. Um, and I decided to take you along so I already put up um, part one of the vlog which covered, let's see, we started in Aruba, I mean we started in La Romana, so the Dominican Republic, but I didn't see any of that because uh, yeah, it was like from the plane straight to the ship and then like off we went. So I didn't like feel, I don't think, maybe like the sunset in La Romana, but like the first proper stop was Aruba, then we did Curaçao, Bonaire, Grenada and Barbados. So that's going to be part one of the vlog and um, definitely check that out. I'll make sure to leave it linked down below and in the eye up here or there. Uh, and yeah, this is part two. So today, like we're already like parked, <laughs> anchored, I guess. And uh, this is St. Vincent and tomorrow's going to be St. Lucia. Then we're going to do, uh, don't quote me on the like exact um, order that we're going to cover the islands, but we're also going to go to Dominica, Antigua and one more, Guadeloupe. And uh, yeah, before I make this intro any longer than it has to be, let's explore the second stretch of my cruise. So today, like briefly introducing to you to um, what I'm going to do today. I booked all of the like excursions and trips through the cruise company just because that was way less hassle for me, way less preparation work, way less research uh, that I had to do. So today is going to be, oh, okay, half a day trip. Um, we're going to go to Young Island. Young Island, I think, is the smallest out of the, I think, 32 or 33 islands that make up St. Vincent and the Grenadines and we're gonna I think it's a fairly small island that's the tiniest island but it's fairly high so we're gonna like climb up essentially and um, then we have a beautiful view apparently of St. Vincent and afterwards we're gonna have a swimming and snorkeling stop as well and afterwards probably gonna go back shower and then head into the city so um, yeah, it's Kingstown. I think we're fairly close to Kingstown, like in walking distance, which is helpful. And then I'm gonna like explore Kingstown um, by myself. And as for the other islands, I'm just gonna, because I don't want this intro to be super long, I'm just gonna like, as we go, um, yeah, briefly talk about what I'm gonna do on each day. But yeah, so excited to take you along. And uh, I guess let's explore St. Vincent together. <music> I just got back from the um, Young Island and swimming and snorkeling tour, so don't mind my crazy hair. I'm about to jump in the shower, then get ready again, like minimal makeup. I could have like skipped on applying makeup um, earlier today anyway, because yeah, I went like head in. Um, the swimming and snorkeling happened from the boat and uh, not from the beach, which I appreciate. But uh, yeah, also so cute. Room service was there already and uh, yeah, lighting isn't great, but Look at this tiny little monkey, <laughs> like hanging from above my um, bed. Anyway, let me quickly go outside. I love when they park, is parking the right word, when they land, anchor, in a way that I can basically look into the city. Um, I'm basically below the bridge, let me turn around. I did show you in a little more detail, I think, in um, the part one, so I'm not gonna like repeat myself. Oh, by the way, 
One thing I forgot to mention, I'm on the AIDA Perla, which you probably saw, like, um, at least that I'm on a AIDA ship um, in the footage that I just showed you, which um, don't let that deter you from watching this video because number one, I'm not gonna like focus on the ship itself. I might film a little bit here and there, some like buffet stuff and some of the activities if I partake. But uh, for the most part, the vlogs, like vlog number one, as well as uh, this vlog that you're watching, is definitely focused on the islands, not so much on the ship. But if you're interested in, yeah, taking an Aida cruise, definitely like um, drop your comments below and I'll be happy to help you. And number two, I talked to a girl like a couple of days ago from Canada and she doesn't speak a single word of German and she booked the cruise by herself and she said she was fine. Like the very, very important announcements uh, are always in German and in English and I think like from memory I don't really know what the um, language of the like cards in front of the food basically um, is it might be in German but you can definitely get around without speaking a single word of German because yeah she was able to do it and she's from Canada doesn't speak a single word of German anyway so uh, two uh, things that I wanted to get out of the way but again if you have any questions on the AIDA I mean I'm not a like experienced um, <laughs> cruise traveler whatsoever this is my first cruise but if you have any questions just like let me know and yeah so I think I'm gonna jump in the shower well needed um, I have salt water everywhere and then I'm gonna head out again explore Kingstown a little and um, yeah you're coming with me <laughs> We got everything we need right here Wine and burning chemistry You and me alone You and me alone Inside of our embassy Everything we need right here Make me sing along, sing along I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Ooh. I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Oh, watch me So I just walked uh, through Kingstown a bit and <laughs> I was basically on a hunt uh, for a shot glass because I do collect shot glasses. <laughs> I will be coming home with, hopefully, uh, if I manage to get one on every single island, 11 I want to say. Uh, yeah, so managed to find one but um, actually like in the cruise center back there, like in the city it was there were loads of supermarkets which is super interesting as well because I do enjoy going to supermarkets and like yeah while I'm traveling and look what kind of like local stock they have and I did buy a couple of like snacks um, hopefully like most of them are local some are from Jamaica which I think still kind of counts anyway so I'm already yeah very close to the ship about to go inside and take advantage of the aircon in my room because it's kind of humid. Yeah, look at my face. <laughs> so I'm going to catch you whenever I get the chance to pick up the camera again. Maybe tonight. Um, maybe I'm going to show you some of the uh, dinner situation. But otherwise, I'm going to catch you tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be St. Lucia. See you then. Good morning from St. Lucia. Let me go and show you my view. I'm on the 15th or 16th deck right now and we're not alone today. So there's cruise ship number one, cruise ship number two. So three cruise ships which should fill up the island quite a bit. Did I mention we're on St. Lucia today? And uh, yeah, as with all of the islands, I did book a trip through the cruise company. And today is going to be, um, I guess, like a cable car ride through the rainforest. And afterwards, or like beforehand, 
don't quote me on the uh, like order that we're going to do that. Um, we'll be like a sightseeing, like panoramic view kind of tour on the island. So I don't actually know how walkable the city, which is K Street, if that's how you pronounce it. I don't know how walkable the city is. Um, there will be like an afternoon situation because I think um, we're supposed to return at like a quarter to two and it's like eight ish right now. So <laughs> I'll be gone for quite a while and um, as with most of the days, um, I do. I usually don't book like full, full day trips. So usually I have like a couple of hours before we actually leave the island. And yeah, that's definitely um, on my agenda. If the city is walkable, I'm going to make an effort to actually walk there and experience the city as I did yesterday, for instance. Although one of the cruise members actually told me to um, maybe not go uh, to... Kingstown by myself. I mean, I do see where she was coming from, but um, I'm glad that I did it nonetheless. Um, it was fine. Like, you get talked to a lot or like called after, but it's just like the name of the game. Plus, I'm blonde, so <laughs> I definitely stood out also in my like very light uh, dress, like the white and blue one. Definitely not by Dior. I actually don't know the brand, but it yeah gives me like Toile de um pattern vibes. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna <laughs> stop circling around um, up here and find myself an elevator and go downstairs and uh, yeah let's go on an adventure on St. Lucia together. I'm back both from the excursion uh, trip as well as from K Street because it turns out um, where the ship is parked, anchored, landed, whatever, um, it's basically right at the city center. So I walked in, uh, strolled around the market. Today is, I think today is Saturday, um, which apparently was a very good day to come to um, K Street because Saturday is one of the more busy days when it comes to the market at least. And yeah, just uh, strolled around a little. I didn't feel comfortable vlogging in public. I would have been fine. I would have been perfectly fine. But like even in London and in Germany, even more so, people tend to stare when you're talking to a camera, especially when you hold a mic, which in winter, winter in Europe, that is, I don't need to be holding the mic because I usually clip it to my scarf, but there's no way I'm going to wear a scarf here because also like even the choice of outfit and um, black wasn't my smartest decision of the week because uh, yeah, blue skies and like the like Caribbean uh, temperatures. Also, not as much wind as the last couple of days means that I've kind of been boiling. So, um, good thing I'm back at my cabin. And I mean, on my balcony, there's a bit of a breeze, but also <laughs> a lot of sun. So, let me go back into the shade. And of course, I have AC in my cabin. Anyway, so I guess that was St. Lucia and K Street. I don't think I'll be going out of the ship again today. Also, because uh, we're about to leave in like two two and a half ish hours i think at least so fairly early and um, usually we leave at like 10 at night but yeah it's a little earlier today um tomorrow is gonna be i think dominica hopefully <laughs> um or guadalupe 
either of the two. I do know for a fact that Antigua will be our last stop and then La Romana, as I said, but um, I won't be doing too much in La Romana because that's where I'm flying out of. Anyway, I guess I'm going to catch you either later today if I do something interesting or um, tomorrow. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> All right, so I'm back. <laughs> Still a little like wobbly in the knees because I do tend to get motion sickness from time to time. Like I can't, for the most part, I can't like uh, sit in the bus like facing backwards essentially. I can't read while I'm being on the bus and uh, in the car. Today, like we did uh, take like a fairly small bus, like eight people, I think. <laughs> the streets, I mean, the streets are fairly new because I think, was it like in 2017 there was a hurricane that basically destroyed 90% of the island so basically like everything was wiped out which is also I mean on the plus side at least um, they got the chance to rebuild the entire island I guess and the streets are great but very like curvy and windy like up and down I mean the driver was uh, definitely used to um, the streets and like where he was able to drive faster than I would have liked him to, I guess. Um, so he was driving fairly safely, but it was a little like too up and down and like roller, roller coaster y for me. But yeah, I guess like give me like half an hour and I'll be fine again. Talk about motion sickness though. I haven't had any issues when it comes to being on the ship. Um, and we did have like definitely like one evening and night where it was a little like. Yeah, also up and down plus I'm like my cabin is basically below the bridge so like at the front of the ship and I guess at the front of the ship as well as like at the very rear you do experience like waves and everything a little more than if you were like like smack in the middle of the ship but I was fine as well so um yeah still I'm getting used to like standing on solid ground again after this like a roller coaster bus <laughs> situation um today is Sunday which also means that um, most of the local shops are actually closed. Um, yeah, but behind me, you see those pavilions. Uh, yes, the ship, which apparently the tour guide says is currently the highest structure in the capital, which is Rousseau. Um, where was I going? All right, so most of the uh, like local businesses um, don't open on Sundays, but of course, like um, with people knowing that there's a massive cruise ship, I think we're like 4,000 people. They definitely didn't want to miss out on their business, so there are like so many uh, shops everywhere. But oh, forgot to mention um, the like boat tour, like very lazy and like slow boat tour on the Indian River was amazing. Like money well spent, and we even passed. I think this like hut. I think. I should have included footage of that, uh, the hut where the guy was that handed out coconuts, like didn't hand out, he sold coconuts. I did buy one just like for the fun of it. Also like it tasted better than I thought it would. Um, yeah, 
it's certainly better than the packaged uh, stuff uh, that you get like in Europe. Anyway, so uh, the hut that uh, we passed by where the guy sold the coconuts, I think featured in one of the Pirates of the Caribbean films. So uh, there we go. And yeah, definitely money well spent on the uh, Indian River boat uh, situation. Basically through the rainforest with a stop uh, with rum punch, which probably also didn't help in terms of like my emotion sickness, dizziness. Um, also because like, when did we reach the rum punch like stop? Maybe like half past 10. So rum punch for breakfast <laughs> maybe not the best <laughs> anyway uh, i'm looking at a beautiful like colorful house like behind me as well i love these colorful houses like from afar they look amazing when you get a little closer you definitely realize that uh, they might need some maintenance but i mean that's the caribbean for you anyway i'm not going to talk your ear off again just wanted to mention uh, that the indian river ride uh, drift <laughs> was great Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? Good morning from Guadeloupe, our second to last full stop, well, apart from La Romana, um, which I'm flying out of, so I won't be seeing that much of the city and like the Dominican Republic in general. But first off, hi from Guadeloupe, by the way, if you enjoy this video, I would love for you to consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. It costs you literally nothing, but means so much to me. So um, yeah, that would be amazing if you can help me out and also if you can help me get to 4000 subscribers. But anyway, so Guadeloupe, um, I think the day trip that I've booked is fairly long-ish. It definitely goes over lunchtime. I don't think we get lunch while we're out. T tomorrow we do get lunch. I have like a four by four um, ride along the island. Tomorrow is um, Antigua, by the way. And we're gonna get lunch tomorrow. We'll see if I'm actually able to eat it because I'm celiac and it's always a little tricky. But um, yeah, today, Maybe I should like grab something uh, from the breakfast buffet so I don't get like overly hangry <laughs> um, while we're out and about. So today is going to be like basically a panoramic bus ride along the island. I think, was it Guadeloupe? I think um, one of the guides uh, told us that like when you look at Guadeloupe from above, it's basically like somewhat butterfly shaped and the two butterfly wings are very different when it comes to like the terrain essentially. So we have Grand Terre, which is more like hilly, I think, and bus terre probably like uh, in a more french pronunciation because uh, yeah guadeloupe is french but i think the panoramic uh, bus drive that i booked is on grand terre so yeah we're gonna discover one half of the butterfly anyway uh let's grab breakfast and discover guadeloupe together you got me under lock and key, but i don't want to be free when i'm next to you you're like honey to a bee i go crazy for the sweet when i'm next to you
So this is uh, a cemetery. You are actually able to see it much better, like from down there. But uh, yeah, it's a cemetery that's known for these like black and white, uh, like checkerboard houses, essentially. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so again, this is Morlalo. But anyway, I think I have to run back to the bus. Let me find my way down to the bus, and then I'm gonna catch you later at some point. Okay, don't mind me completely freaking out because I wasn't able to find my way back downstairs. But now we're here. Oh, sun probably isn't helping. I will insert like some better quality footage over top, but yeah, this is Monalo and it's not like um, weird to walk around here and like take pictures because their understanding of like cemeteries is uh, way different from ours. They actually like celebrate here as well and like uh, with music and everything and of course like light candles so it's perfectly fine to walk around here. So I've been back in my cabin for a couple of hours at this point, just uh, shower. I didn't wash my hair because that takes ages to dry and I only like uh, washed my hair yesterday and I tried to not do that too often, but I felt it kind of like sticky. Also, I dipped my toes into the water in St. Anne, so yeah, briefly took a shower. Oh, by the way, let me go outside, although it's going to be very bright, so I have to be like squinting. <laughs> Oh, actually, it's quite all right. Um, we're not alone today. Behind me is uh, one of the virgin ships. So um, I don't know. Do they have multiple ones? So yeah, I did walk through Puerto Pietro a little bit, but uh, there weren't like any super interesting shops, just like a couple of supermarkets, which I do enjoy going inside. And there were like tons of like jewelry shops, but I'm back now. And I think we're supposed to leave um, in like one and a half, two-ish hours. Should coincide with sunset. Where's the sun? There, oh, there she is. Uh, yeah, should coincide with sunset, which uh, should look lovely. Good morning from Antigua and yeah, I'm still on the ship. We're actually not alone today. Behind me is Explorer of the Seas. Yeah, Explorer of the Seas. And on the other side, um, let me walk there. <laughs> Why not? Uh, that one behind me is fairly large and the other one is kind of tiny, at least when you look at it from above, is a Viking something something. Anyway, so I think I have like little under half an hour left before I have to head to the bus and then we're gonna like take the bus to somewhere and then um, get into our 4x4 jeeps which yeah it's gonna be like very hilly very like up and down but I'm looking forward to that and we're gonna have like multiple like photo stops and uh, yeah anyway so let me turn around there's another one and um, we're parked I think like the departure situation will be like driving backwards but either way if um, we're leaving at somewhat of the same time that should look <laughs> quite interesting like three ships basically leaving back to back anyway um, I think I'm gonna head down probably find myself a loop somewhere um, because uh, you never know what the toilet situation is gonna be um, out and about plus we're gonna be gone for like six hours or something like that including lunch um, it will be interesting to find out what the lunch situation will look like and uh, yeah i'm gonna film <laughs> duh of course and I catch you probably when i'm back on the boat let's just do what you want to please don't be polite because i like your attitude let's forget about a curfew because all Stuck in my head, it's me and you Both speed and my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna face it Cause it only does this with you Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just let our bodies be true We make out for the thrill of it Mess around
All right, so it's already the next day, um, which is a day at sea. <laughs> Here we are. Luckily, it's not as windy. Actually, like um, yesterday on Antigua, which apparently is pronounced Antigua. Sorry <laughs> if I kept mis mispronouncing the island and was way windier than it is right now, like on open sea, which is also the reason why I didn't like talk to you while we were on Antigua, because it was super windy the entire time, especially. I mean, we didn't uh, end up getting on a like an actual Jeep. It was more so like a small bus, but definitely geared towards off road uh, driving. Still very windy the entire time, so I didn't actually manage to talk to you um, yesterday. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because today is just going to be like a chill day. Um, probably lots of time spent on the balcony and packing, which I'm not looking forward to. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining me on my Caribbean cruise. Do make sure to check out vlog part one where I covered the first five islands. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I um, enjoyed being on the cruise. And I hope I was able to yeah, take you along as much as possible and like give you an idea of what the cruise was about. More so like the islands in particular, I did mention that. I mean, I did show, probably, <laughs> I'm gonna find out during the editing process. I did show you like a little bit um, here and there of the actual ship that I'm on. Again, I'm on the Aida Perla. So if you have any questions whatsoever concerning in particular the Aida, because I don't know anything about other cruise lines, but do ask away and I'll do my best to um, yeah give you as much information as possible. But yeah, thanks again for joining me. If you enjoyed today's video and you haven't given this video a thumbs up, I would love for you to like this video and also consider subscribing. And I guess I'm gonna catch you in one of my next videos. Bye. Perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on your way Somebody near is open for tonight, it's not too late My mind says yes, you've been here for quite some time But my heart tells me you should stay Screams